It's your boy Blackie Stone, and I am back with another video. I'm at a very exciting place, very peaceful, very tranquil place. I'm at the Euclid Beach in Cleveland, Ohio. Nice day. Not a cloud in sight. Let's see if we can get closer. like the way this camera is this camera is very smart it lets me know if I have an ND filter on it or not say like in a situation where I was recording the day before put the camera down then the following day I pick the camera up the camera will actually let you know if you have an ND filter on it or not. That's pretty cool. I had to check my settings there real quick. I'm still getting used to this um, this rod, it is, this extension rod for the DJI. It works pretty good. Just gotta tweak it a little bit more so that I can get used to it. Wow, looks like a change of weather, just like that. Doesn't look like the sun is coming back out. Not for now, because when I got out here, there was not a cloud in sight. I look up in the sky now, and what do I see? Nothing but clouds. This is the ND32 filter. The sun isn't as bright as it was because it's been hidden by the clouds. But what do you think? Okay guys, this is the same scenario, but my ND16. What do you think? Like I said, the sun has been hidden by the clouds. It's not as bright as it was earlier. But these sunglasses actually work. I'm digging this ND16.
Let's try another one. Same scenario, guys. The sun is still being hidden by the clouds, but a different filter. Now, the ND32 was okay. The ND16 was pretty good, but this ND8 is life. I may have to keep this on there permanently, especially on these sunny days in Cleveland. Okay guys, somewhat of the same situation. The sun is kind of peeking out the clouds, but it's still not as bright as it was earlier. This is the last ND filter I have. It's an ND4. I'm digging this. So with my skin complexion, the ND4 and the ND8, I think that's going to work for me. What do you guys think? Put it down in the comments. Let me know what you think about it. This is an amazing camera. However, the only gripe that I have is the fact that it does not have active track in 4k mode DJI give us an update so that we can perfect this camera even more so than what it is Yeah, the stabilization on this thing is incredible. I can't believe how steady this is. It was already steady if I hold the uh, pocket in my hand. But with this extension rod, you can't even tell I'm walking. My goodness. The setup on this is incredible. Look at our beautiful park here, guys. So earlier, I was looking at the uh, extension rod. Normally, there's a indicator, there's a light indicator on it, and it's solid green, right? I was a little puzzled earlier, and I actually had to stop the camera. I picked up the uh, camera manually because it's connected Wi-Fi for right now. Picked up the camera, turned it on, turned it off, looked at the power. I still have plenty of power. I'm looking at the red indicator on the extension rod thinking my battery was about to die. And I was like, wow, this extension rod must really drain the battery. I just noticed something though. You know what it did, what the red is doing? <laughs> it's letting me know I'm recording. Like I said, guys, this thing is uh, very useful. It can be very useful in vlogging, light action, not heavy, because you're in, you're gonna get a little bit more vibration unless you have a something holding this gimbal very steady. It's the only way it's gonna have better stabilization. But uh. You see what I, you see what it is. Yeah. It's your boy Blackie Stone and I am out.